Good evening, parents, guardians, and prospective ninth grade students. My name is Jeffrey Gaddis, the proud prince of Bayview High School. We'd like to welcome you to our virtual open house. Bayview opened its doors in 1914, which makes our school 106 years old. We're glad you have joined us this evening as we will highlight our school and let you know why you should choose Bayview as your high school. You will definitely be receiving information on why Bayview. You will hear from staff tonight who will explain the different programs we have here. We not only want you to succeed in high school, we want you to succeed about your well being as well. If you succeed, we succeed. I remind our students every day of these five phrases You are great. You are somebody. You are special. You are going places. The sky is the limit. After our presentation, you have a chance to visit various departments within Bayview. And if you have any questions after the presentation, please do ask them because we will answer all your questions. Next, I'd like to state what our mission statement is. We're a school focused on art, design, and engineering with a STEAM philosophy and rigorous curriculum. And we equip our students with the 21st century learning for active participants within the shared community. Next, I'd like to introduce our administrative staff, uh, Mrs. Blackwell, Mr. Mejia, and Mr. Cookhouse. I guess I'll go first. Hello, everyone. Um, we are so happy to see you here at the open house. Um, we are hoping that you enjoy yourself and get to know a lot about our school. Uh, it's Mr. Cookhouse going next. Yeah, thank you so much, parents, uh, for spending some time here at Bayview. I'm sure you'll be very happy when you see all the different programs we have to offer. Uh, Bayview is a great school, a lot of historical significance, like Mr. Gaddis stated, 106 years old. And any questions, don't hesitate to ask any of the administrative team. We can point you in the right direction right away. Thank you. My name is Mayor Mejia Juan. I'm the ninth grade academy administrator. All right, thank you. Thank you, Administrative Team. Next, we have Ms. Santa Cruz. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Um, my name is Ms. Santa Cruz, and I am the ninth grade counselor at Bayview. Um, first, I'd just like to talk a little bit about support staff overall at Bayview. There are lots of um, people in our department to help with a variety, um, help and support students with a variety of different things. Uh, we do have a school psychologist um, named Miss Hanson Thiel. We have a social worker named Miss Katie Kewick, and we have a. Uh, there are four counselors on staff. So I'm in charge of ninth graders, um, and as a ninth grade counselor, I um, support students with a comprehensive school counseling program. I visit classrooms all the time. I help students and support students in the three areas of academics social, emotional, and college and career planning. We cover a lot throughout the year um, related to those topics. If students need to talk, if students want to want advice about academics or where to get extra support, or they want to plan, um, start planning, it's never too early to think about and start planning what comes next after high school. It's our goal to help them um, figure those things out so that when they graduate, in four years, we send them off with a plan for after high school. Thank you. Next, we have Ms. Perot. Good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for coming. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about our STEAM program here at Bayview High School. Um, so the STEAM program here is um, basically a mix you know, of our science, technology, engineering, arts, and math program. Um, all of our teachers, work together to um, plan collaborative projects that go throughout the school and it gives the students a phenomenal learning experience. Um, we use different standards from different areas of curriculum and put it all together to um, help the students with their future careers, with lesson plans and so on. So we, one of the best things about this school is that all the teachers work together as a, a great team and the students enjoy that as well because they see it 
um, throughout the projects that we do. Thank you. Mr. Driscoll. Good evening. So uh, I'm Mr. Driscoll. I teach engineering and video technology at Bayview High School. Um, and I'm going to be talking to you guys tonight about uh, the NAF uh, Academy of Engineering. Um, the NAF Academy of Engineering uh, focuses on um, giving underrepresented students a chance to learn about STEM careers and develop the skills that they need to succeed in them. Um, we help students find paid internships to get experience in uh, engineering, and um, they are also able to um, get NAF track certification that helps uh, them get into engineering programs in college, um, as well as um, because they're doing PLTW coursework with our, our academy, um, this helps them um, attain scholarships for getting into colleges like uh, MSOE, which is the Milwaukee School of Engineering. Um, the PLTW coursework that our students go through is sort of the industry standard um, for engineering classes. Um, it is a very hands-on approach and teaches students the design process for engineering, um, as well as uh, skills in 3D modeling, circuitry, product design. Um, it gives them very good pro uh, problem solving skills and um, they get a chance to try out a lot of really interesting equipment such as laser cutters, CNC machines, 3D printers, and plasma cutters. Thank you, Mr. Drisco. Ms. Sims? Good evening, everyone. My name is Anne Marie Sims, and I am the culinary arts teacher here at Bayview High School. Um, our program started in 2016, and I have been the teacher here working with um, some amazing groups of students and colleagues. Um, so I can let you read, you can read through the information, the bullet points, that's kind of boring for me. I just want you to know that the whole embodiment of this program is geared around the students with, and partnering them within the in, um, members of the industry so that they can get a uh, hands-on training and experience and then we also, one wonderful thing that we've um, been allowed to do here is take our students on a culinary college tour. And I have a video that we're gonna show you. Um, these program, the program here helps get our students prepared for the serve safe certification on a manager's level. Um, I'm very um, passionate about them operating in, in, in excellence and also um, learning how to collaborate and negotiate and kind of set a path for their future. So um, we're going to play the video now. Next we have Ms. Rothenbach who uh, will talk about honors classes. Hi, welcome. I am one of the science teachers at Bayview High School and I just wanted to let you know that Bayview um, does offer honors classes uh, for English, math, and science um, for ninth, 10th, and 11th graders. Um, what does an honors class offer? Uh, it's a rigorous, more in-depth uh, content. Uh, and the reason why uh, kids should try to take honors classes is it helps to build their confidence in their academic abilities. It helps to prepare them for AP classes um, in their future education and uh, it helps prepare them for educational opportunities after high school. Next, Mr. Bullock. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Gaddis. Uh, my name is Mr. Bullock. I am the uh, chair of the English department here at Bayview High School, but uh, I also teach one of our advanced, pl uh, advanced placement English classes. Um, we offer a number of different AP classes, uh, two different AP English classes, two different AP science classes, two different AP social studies classes. Uh, we have uh, recently offered AP Studio Art. We can offer that again. And if there are any other AP classes that your student might be interested in taking, 10th, 11th, or 12th grade, if we don't have a teacher for it here in the building, we have a fantastic setup in the building to do uh, distance learning, <laughs> but uh, with a telepresence system so that uh, your child can take an advanced placement class here in the building during class time at Bayview, but from a teacher who is teaching it at another school where, uh, you know, maybe three or four different schools sometimes are coming together to have a telepresence AP class. So 
uh, we are definitely looking out for your students in terms of preparing them for college uh, with uh, the springboard curriculum in ninth, uh, 9 through 12 in both math and English, as well as advanced placement across the board. And jumping off of what Mr. Bullock says, I am Trina Halsey. I am the department chair for social studies, but I am also one of our telepresence teachers. Um, I teach AP US history in the building, but I also teach AP world history to both Bayview and Washington High School. Um, in the past, I've also taught to Obama High School. Um, the philosophy behind telepresence is that we can make sure that all of our students across the district can get whatever classes they need. Um, we currently also reach out to the Bayview Elementary Schools uh, by making sure that they have algebra. So our honors algebra students are being brought in with our, K, or with our um, seventh and eighth graders in neighboring elementary schools. Um, we have taught AP Psychology. We have taught, currently I believe we have AP Psych, we have Calculus, we have French three, we've got AP World, as I said, that I teach. Um, so pretty much as Mr. Bullock said, if we don't have it, we can get it into the building. Um, environmental Sciences has been brought in from outside of the district, from a district in Eagle River, I want to say. So MPS is willing to work with us to get anything that we need, literally anything that we need. Um, Japanese is being taught in some schools. So if you have a student that's interested in Japanese, we can make that happen. Um, AP government, if that's something that your student is really interested in, if it works with our schedules, we can make it happen. It really allows your students to become prepared for um, college when it comes to 21st century skills, especially right now, when you look at how many classes are being done virtually, my telepresence kids are so ready. And I've gotten so many emails that said, hey, Mrs. Halsey, Thank you for everything because now I know how to take these classes. We use Google Meets. They are already well versed in how to use um, Google Classroom, which means if they have to use Blackboard or if they have to use Chalkboard or if they have to use um, Canvas, any of the virtual um, class settings, they're relatively comfortable. So the 21st century skills, they're relatively ready to move into. Um, so it's preparing them for college as well as many of the workplace skills regardless of whether or not they're going into the, the college or the um, technical world. Thank you, Ms. Hawes. Good evening, parents. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Mejia. I'm the ninth grade academy administrator. Right here at Bayview, we have the ninth grade academy model, which is the two academies. We have Academy A and Academy B, the same cohort of students and teachers. We have a smaller sizes in both academies. The Ninth Grade Academy committee meetings, we meet every single week, week with those two academies. We also have a weekly EWI, which means early learning indicators, uh, which every week we deal with students that might have a little bit of uh, what issues understanding, perhaps the material in the classroom, attendance issues, and we all get together and talk and find ways that we could help the student. We also have the Breakfast of Champions, like about once every two months. And in order to be a part in the Breakfast of Champions, the student has to have the following criteria. Number one, has to show an amazing effort in the classroom, uh, great daily attendance, and of course, following uh, the, the classroom's expectations. Not only that we have here at Bayview, we also have the student of the week, which the student of the week criteria goes as follows. The student has to show respect, has to be organized, has to have academic achievement, and also has to have a sense of responsibility. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Bree, and I am a proud volunteer with City Year uh, Milwaukee. Um, we're a national nonprofit organization funded by AmeriCorps, and we work in 13 sites here in Milwaukee, 39 sites nationwide. And what we do is we really work closely with teachers to support our students in both the, in, in their attendance, uh, their social emotional learning, which is formerly known as like behavior, and their coursework. Um, and some of the ways we do this is that we send volunteers into the school and um, they're able to interact with the students and have a near peer relationship with them and kind of engage them in really fun ways uh, regarding their classwork. Um, Commodore, did you have anything to add? 
picture. Um, with me is my com my colleague. Yeah, so I'm Commodore Williams, also a team leader uh, here at Bayview. And just wanted to describe kind of what we have here on the slide. So <clears throat> we really are here to support the ninth grade academy in their four classes um, to give them additional support in the office hours time space as well and on Tuesdays and Fridays um, where they have small group intervention time. And so we've really been working with partner teachers and Bayview High School to make sure that your uh, students have as many opportunities to access class content and material and for support as possible. Um, just trying to be additional resources. And here we have a video that we can uh, play for you, which is going to show a bit of what our core members have been doing so far to engage with students and make sure that they're uh, getting the most out of the school day. Mm -hmm. okay. hey everybody, uh, good morning. Today we're going to be showing you how to write expressions from word problems. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're going to be doing what? Don't worry, I'm going to show you. Here's an example. Let's say you have multiply n by 2, then add 6. How would you write that? Well, you start by focusing on that first part that says multiply n by 2. What does that look like? Something like this. Now that we have that, let's go to the second part. Then add 6. This is kind of the easy part. You just have to add 6 to the first part of the equation. So it looks something like this. Pretty simple, right? Comment below if you have any questions. Bye, y'all. Thank you, Cydia. Thank you. Next, we have Ms. Morgan. She's our CLC director as well. Hi, everybody. So um, I am Ms. Morgan. I run the CLC after school program here at Bayview High School. Um, we are the Boys and Girls Club. So we help with tutoring, um, homework help, um, students who want to volunteer, students who may be looking for a job or um, help finding a job, resume building, coaching, um, mentorship, um, a lot of service learning, community service. Um, we have long board that we run through CLC Robotics. We have race car that we ran through CLC um, Culinary Arts. We have book club, um, theater club, whatever students wanna see, um, whatever connections they wanna make. Um, oh, the GSA, of course, um, and so, we try to support students in every single way, not just academically. Um, and we work with city year as well for tutoring. Um, so that's just basically what we do. Um, and we are happy to be at Bayview. Thank you, Ms. Moore. <clears throat> Next we have Ms. AJ. Hi there, everybody. Uh, yeah, I am Miss AJ and I manage Bayview High School's College and Career Center. So um, I, the College and Career Center and myself are resources to help any student with anything that has to do with preparing for life after high school. That's how I like to put it because really anything that I haven't helped a student with before that they come to me for help with, I will help them with or find the right person or resource to help them with. Um, the college and career centers have only existed as they do for a few years now. Um, and we say that we don't turn anyone away. Um, obviously, you've seen Bayview has a ton of other great resources as well. So, um, so the college and career center sort of hones in on a few things. Um, and some of the most popular things that I do help students with are creating a resume and filling out applications for jobs colleges, scholarships, and financial aid applications. Um, some of the things are listed there if I didn't name them. And then there are also some ways to reach out to me this year. Of course, it's different and everything is virtual. Normally, I have a space within the school building that students can drop into. Um, this year, of course, it's different. So my contact information is listed there. And one of the easiest ways is for students or parents to visit me during my off virtual office hours, which are every weekday from 1 to 4 p.m. So I have the link there and I can also post it in the chat if you're sitting at home and want to save that somewhere. Um, yeah. Thank you, Ms. AJ. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Dawes, uh, Athletics. Good evening, everyone. I am Ms. Dawes, one of the two 
athletic directors here at Bayview. Mr. Jason Wyshynski is one of the other athletic directors as well. Um, we all the unforeseen circumstance, our fall sports did get moved to an alternative spring date with volleyball beginning February 22nd, 21, and football beginning March 8th of 21. The two links that are on our slide will take us directly to our city conferences or Bayview's homepage, which will give you more insight of all the sports that we offer and some of our screenshots. If there's any further questions, Mr. Wojcinski and myself will be available for any questions. And uh, if there's anything with online registration and troubleshoot, we're more than willing to help you through that. Go Redcats. Thank you. Ms. Simmer. Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Simmert and I'm here to talk a little bit about the early admissions process for NPS. Basically all the information that you need is online right from the NPS homepage. Um, if you look at the screen, you see that there's a schools tab um, at the top. From there, you'll go directly to the middle high school early enrollment, okay? And then you click on how to apply. The window is open right now, and it is open until November 1st. So you want to make sure that you have your application in as of November 1st. Now, there are two different ways of applying, depending on if you're a current NPS student or not. Um, Mr. Gaddis, can you go to the next slide, please? Um, if you're a current NPS student, you have to apply through the Incident Campus Parent Portal. And that's actually a good thing because a lot of the information will automatically be uploaded to the application. Um, and then students in MPS are taking the writing assessments at school through their English classes, their eighth grade English classes, and that's happening in the month of October. Um, all of the links are on the MPS homepage. Um, so you can go from there. Students that are not current MPS students, there is a second link and that's, you, uh, that's just um, applying online with the new and returning student application. That's for any student that is not a current MPS student. You will need to upload your seventh grade report card if that's possible and then you register through that same website for um, the MPS writing assessments. If you have any questions please contact me or Ms. Herrera and we can help you through the process. We did um, put our numbers in the chat so if you have any questions specifically about the MPS application process please contact us. Thank you, Ms. Simmer and Ms. Herrera. Um, next, we're gonna show you uh, uh, a virtual video. Uh, it kind of highlights some things we were talking about. And um, if you have any questions after this, feel free to ask, or we're also gonna put in the chat specific departments you may wanna, wanna visit and uh, have some more conversation. Well, thank you parents for joining us this evening. Um, if you want more information or about our school or want to visit any departments, uh, Mr. Driscoll, can you share the uh, link in the chat? And they no, can share it. Sorry, okay, we well, shared the chat and you're able to visit any other departments or if you have any questions, you, you can unmute your mic and ask or you can put the, the questions in the chat as well. There's a question about um, a ninth grader's class schedule. Um, so if I can, is it okay, Mr. Gaddis, if I go, go ahead, ahead? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So a typical ninth grade schedule um, is going to um, include one class in each of the core um, four subject areas being math, English, science, and social studies. Um, a typical freshman math is gonna be algebra. If a student has already taken algebra, um, and they're in a um, accelerated, um, if they have already taken algebra in eighth grade, they can go into geometry in the ninth grade. Um, we do also offer honors geometry or honors algebra for freshmen. Um, it, and ninth grade English will be either uh, regular ninth grade springboard English or we have honors English. 
Um, a typical science class is for a freshman is going to be biology. We also do offer an honors biology section. And then social studies will be either citizenship or honors world history. So if your student um, excels at social studies, they like the topic, they can move into honors world history as a freshman. So that takes up four classes and then there are three other class periods during a typical day at Bayview. And um, there is a two year foreign language requirement to graduate from MPS high school. So we often start that as freshmen. Um, we offer French or Spanish. And then um, all students take one semester of PE um, and one semester this year of what's called um, Introduction to Business Customer Service, which is a NAF uh, course um, for freshman year. And then there's room for one more class, which is an elective that can, for freshmen can be either art foundations, um, which is like hands-on art, drawing and painting. Um, we also offer for freshmen computer applications in art, which Ms. Pro is on this um, and she teaches typically. We also, as freshmen, could take in uh, choir or band. And then the last elective available for freshmen is an introduction to engineering class, um, starting off in the project lead the way. So you can um, choose one of those electives as a freshman. Thank you. Yeah. Yep, did that help or do you have any other, any other specific questions about scheduling or classes? Well, parents and guardians, we're gonna be on uh, in this meeting. Uh, so there's another person that wants to ask a question. I've uh, allowed you to unmute yourself. There you go. Go ahead. Uh, one of the students wants to take a, another two art, like art and music. Like at the end of the day, when you choose two classes. So if you'd like to take, if you're interested in art and music, we can talk about what your schedule would look like freshman year. What I would typically say is that we would most likely choose one or the other freshman year. And then you can also, um, as you get older and you go along through high school, you have more room in your schedule for electives as you get some of the required courses out of the way. Um, I mean, it might be possible to do both freshman year, but typically we're going to want you to get started in that foreign language. And so we would encourage you to take either art or music freshman year and then um, and then the other one or both um, sophomore year. Like I said, uh, we're going to be here till, uh, till, till six o'clock. So you're more, more than welcome to visit any of the departments that are uh, the link is posted in the chat. Uh, you just click on there and you're able to talk to some some of the teachers. Uh, also, there's the Open House website where you can look at uh, not only this video, but you can go in there and do a walkthrough of your own or look at some other things that we have and that we're doing here at Bayview as well. So we'll be here the whole time until six o'clock. So, uh... This person asked uh, that they joined a little late and said, uh, can you comment on an overall atmosphere environment at the school? Positive environment overall with the students, assuming in-person school, of course. Um, one thing we, we do have here is a, a, a good climate uh, for learning. Um, you know, we support all our students. You know, we know all of them are not going to be or want to be uh, where they need to be, but we have a very good climate. You know, I always like to say to our students, there's two places you're going to be. You're either going to be in class or, we, go, or, or we, we might have to call your parent and have a different conversation. But other than that, you know, the climate is good. We have great staff that love to work with our students and we want our students to succeed, you know, not only to the next grade, but making sure they're prepared for after high school as well. So a lot of the times we are, you know, on our kids because we, we know they have the potential to do anything and everything. So we just want to make sure that we're pushing them to their fullest potential.
Great comments, staff. Great comments. Oh, it's a question in chat. What class year would my student need to figure out the direction he should be heading? My eighth grader is not sure where to go because he's not sure what he's interested in, direction academically. I can tackle that one if you would yeah. like. Go ahead. So what I would say to that, and I talk to ninth graders a lot about this topic, um, there are a lot of adults that still don't know exactly uh, what they want to do. So our job is um, at Bayview is to help expose students to a variety of different um, courses, clubs, activities, extracurriculars, and different opportunities so that they start to identify things that they um, like to do and that they're strong at. And it's okay not to know in the eighth grade. Um, nobody's really supposed to know in the eighth grade what, what they want to do and what, what they're interested in. If they have an idea, that's great. But we offer so many different things at Bayview that they can kind of get their feet wet in some different um, areas. And along the way, it helps them figure out um, things that they might like to do and ways that they like to spend their time. Um, we use a tool called Zello, which is, I like to kind of call it almost like a Facebook for career and college um, development where students do activities um, where they learn about themselves, identity development and um, college and career planning. They learn about their learning styles. They start to identify what they're good at and ways that they like to spend their time. And throughout the four years of high school, then it really helps them um, form a more clear path on what will come next for them or what they wanna do next. So it's okay not to have it all figured out. What I would recommend is, um, you know, in the ninth grade, there are not a ton of different options for electives because we want to make sure that students really get a strong academic start to fulfilling the requirements for graduation. So a lot of what's taken in ninth grade is require are required courses. Um, and then they take an elective, for instance, if someone takes an art class or an engineering class, and say, say they like it, but they don't want to continue in it. That's how they, that's how they learn. Um, that's how they learn is by doing. So then maybe the following year, they can try the culinary program in the 10th grade. And that's how you really start to figure yourself out is to just expose yourself to these different experiences and classes. Yes. Yeah, we have a lot to offer too, as if you were, if you was not here at, uh, just make sure you visit our baby open house website that's in the chat we have a lot of different things to offer you know hopefully you know one of the things that we do offer will spark the interest of your child and uh, we have a lot of and one big thing about it we're like family so we like to treat our our baby students like they are kids so we want them to do well when they come here and then that's the expectation also can I also, this is AJ, can I also say a word about that person's question? Go ahead, AJ. Um, yeah, so again, I'm Miss AJ, I work for the College and Career Center, and as an eighth grader, I think you're talking about maybe what high school, but it also in my head triggered that sort of even preparing for after high school, what direction to go, and you wondering like what year they need to figure out the direction. I mean, that's exactly the kind of conversation I have with so many students who are seniors. And like Miss Santa Cruz said, even as adults, like I still say to students that I'm in my, in a career path and don't know what I want to do yet. So like there's statistics nowadays that say like newer, the younger generations are switching, not just jobs, but career paths like five to seven times which is so different from so many people in older generations who might, like my dad was a, had the same job for 30 years. So, um, so yeah, that's, 
I don't know, I'm trying to answer this question in like every possible way you might have meant it, but <laughs> but for me in my head, it just made me think of so many students who I have had that conversation with around like, you don't have to have your mind made up or a decision made. There's going to be a lot of options if you put in the time and build the relationships with people in our building, um, including using the College and Career Center and my, like, you'll, you'll discover all the different opportunities and and I think a huge part of your high school experience is going to be taking advantage of all of the different kinds of like programs and clubs and sport, trying things, just like trying things and trying. It, it's about exploring, which like hopefully from seeing different teacher, seeing our presentation and maybe exploring the website and the open house, like you'll see that there are tons of ways to do that at Bayview. Um, so I think like don't be freaking out about that right now. Not that that's that's definitely easier said than done, but like don't stress. Um, and send your kids to Bayview. <laughs> That's right. Any more questions? Some may come up. Like I said, we'll be here for at least another hour. Uh, visit the different departments, visit our website, uh, Open House website. You can watch the tour. Uh, watch some other things that's going on, come back here, ask more questions. So we'll, we'll just be here waiting on you. Sports activities? Hi, I can, can I take that question, Mr. Gattis? Go ahead. Yes, Bayview does offer boys and girls um, soccer. And right now, due to the fact that our fall is shut down, we did move over to an alternative spring season. We have boys and girls basketball. Our tent of dates are November 23rd and November 21st, well, November 16th for girls. So November 23rd for the boys, November 16th for the girls, boys and girls basketball. Wrestling tentatively is November 23rd as well. And the rest of our spring schedule will continue on with track and field, softball, baseball, girls volleyball, um, golf, and we're gonna take a look and see if we can get a boys tennis team up and running this year. So please contact Mr. Wojcinski or myself, or if you'd like any further questions, I can reach out to you. Another question though, they had a, somebody had a question. We would also like to know more about gym and PE. That's a and he specifically, our gym in FIED is based upon sports, lifetime sports, fit for life. Freshman comprehensive is split right now between a gym unit and a swim, but tentatively our swim unit is on hold because we're not in the building. Uh, they need 1.5 credits toward graduation and a half a credit of health for graduation. Those are requirements. Classes are co-ed, except for our freshman classes due to our swim unit. Um, we do have three gyms that we utilize throughout the school year. We have two fitness areas, and we have one remodeled outdoor track. And we do have permission from the school, Mr. Gaddis, to also utilize Humboldt Park for our walk fit units. Was there any further questions regarding PE? If we could, could we resubmit the link for FIED? They can link onto. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi, sorry about that. I, I left to go to the other meeting and was like, wait a minute, I hear somebody talking about culinary. Um, I'm sorry. Thank you, Miss Halsey, for stepping in for me. Um, I'm sorry, what was the question again? I was Is culinary arts an option for four years. Can you please okay? Thank you, Ms. Dawes. So we are working on making that a four-year option, but the wonderful thing about the culinary program and our partnership with the Boys and Girls Club is we create a club after school for freshmen that are interested in the culinary program to join that way. So they get um, an idea of what the program is. They get to kind of interact with me and see how things work and flow in the class. Um, it's not as rigorous as the actual program when they come in as a sophomore. So it kind of, it kind of gives them a, uh, softer landing when they come into the program because they already have a, 
they build a rapport and relationship with me. Um, they've had more of a lax version of culinary um, with the after school program. And then it kind of gets them um, started on what to expect once they get into the program so the sophomore year until we are able to make it a four year program. That's a question. Just stay here. She does an amazing job. Thank you. I do my best. There ain't that many people in here that I'm looking. Did you have any other questions about the culinary? No. Okay. Oh, she said, "Grace, for the thanks for the info. He doesn't have much experience yet, but really interested in cooking. So excited about the opportunity for Tens Bayview. If." You need to just go on and sign him up. We're going to take care of him if he come here. Great. We have a great, like I said, Miss Sims, along with the other staff, we just have great, great staff that love, that care about kids and want them to succeed. So hopefully you'll choose us as your high school destination. Another question in the chat. It says, hi, this is Delisha's mom. I just want to know how is the school picked? What, uh, can you explain that a little bit more? What do you mean by that? How do we, how do you pick Bayview? Ms. Simmer, I, I, yeah, go ahead, Ms. Simmer. Hi, in order to uh, apply for fall enrollment or early enrollment, you just go to the MPS website um, and you um, fill out the application. If you're, um, student is currently in MPS, be sure to pick on the um, link that's for current students because then you'll skip a whole lot of the sections because it automatically uploads information. Um, and then you just pick uh, Bayview High School and note that uh, the order that you put schools in, that's going to be your rank choice. So we would hope that you would put Bayview in as the uh, number one pick. Do you have any um, uh, questions or you need some help, I, you, I'm going to put my number in the chat. You can call my office directly and I can walk you through the steps. But the link is directly from the MPS website under schools and then fall early high school enrollment. Um, but certainly call my office and I can walk you through it if you need some assistance. Hello, Delisha, do you have a question? She's trying. We promise we're friendly. <laughs> She's really trying. I don't know why. Is that Delisha right there? So Delisha asked about art, right? You're interested in art? What kind of art do you like, Delisha? Because we have a variety of classes at our school. So I teach engineering, but I also am one of the art teachers as well. And um, we have drawing, we have painting, we have 3D classes where students build sculptures and ceramic pieces. Um, we have a video technology class where students get a chance to make their own films with a group of other students. Um, that's brand new this year. Uh, there's a lot of different opportunities to get involved with the arts. Also, there's a skateboarding, um, longboarding club where they build their own custom skateboards and longboards. So if any of those kind of things are things you're interested in. And she likes photography and music. 
Okay, so videography might be, you know, it's, it's, it's along those same lines. You have to, you know, know how to point the camera at things and get things in focus and all that kind of stuff. So the video technology class might be a good uh, choice for you. We don't have a, a formal photography class right now, but they sometimes do photo units in foundations. Can I chime in really quick and say we have photography club through CLC? Okay, sure, so I'm so sorry. No, 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 you're fine. So we put, um, it didn't, COVID hit. So we have about uh, five professional level cameras that we use DSLRs that can record as well. Um, and then Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Lightroom is also available for students um, who are interested. And so just putting that out there for after school, though. Thank you. Another thing that uh, Ms. Sims, who teaches the culinary program, and I have talked about is um, getting some students together to try and start shooting food photography of the food that the students make at the school. Um, it's something that we're interested in kind of pursuing going forward. Is Ms. Perot in here? She's not, but I can get her. Okay, she might uh, want to talk about a couple of her classes. I'm here. Go ahead. Hi, um, Delisha. Yes, um, you said in your comments that you like to draw. Um, just to kind of pick back off what everybody's been talking about, um, we have lots of art classes available at Bayview. Um, like the traditional um, art classes would be probably start with art foundations as a um, freshman. And then you can take um, lots of other options. There's um, multiple 2D and 3D classes. So you could take painting and drawing. Um, you could take sculpture. Uh, you could take, uh, we also offer, I teach digital arts. So that's all arts on the computer. So you'd actually be doing digital drawing. Um, so yes, there's lots of different, um, both traditional and somewhat non-traditional art classes that are offered at our school. And we also have um, like longboard club and like different art clubs that meet after school as well, in addition to what CLC offers. Thanks, Ms. Perot. Y'all, it's, uh, it's sick. <laughs> It's 5.59. I, I appreciate everybody, all the input you put in. You know, hopefully we'll get some great kids uh, coming in. And thank you very much. Hey. Hi, everybody. Hey.